Sup peeps, my name's Ian, I sell books on eBay, and sometimes the day's just not long enough. So, I had to go out this morning, earn some money, you know, it's got to be done now and again. Can't always rely on crumbs from eBay. Uh, but it meant I was out early, so I've not had a chance to do any of the orders yet today. And um, we're now at like, back at three in the afternoon, so a few more have come in through the day. Let's just show you what has sold in the last 24-ish kind of hours. Um, it's another not great day, but not bad day. Things have been very, very consistent of late. You get the odd day that's a wee bit low, the odd day that's a wee bit high, but for the most part, it's quite a straight line across the matrix, which is, is good. It's, it's good, but it would be nice if it was an upward line rather than just a, a flat line. But if you keep doing the same thing, you're not going to get different results, you know? Was that the definition of madness? Um, doing the same thing repeatedly and expecting to get something different. So I am doing the same thing repeatedly. And although I would like to make more money, I have been trying to do the same thing repeatedly just to really test what I'm doing and make sure that I've not just had a few lucky spikes, that what I'm doing is consistent and can be a business. So although I've been slowly creeping up my levels of stock, um, and the, to be honest, the, the average sales are creeping up alongside that increase in stock. It's not been a massive increase in stock, so it's not been a massive uplist, uplift in average sales, but it's been pretty darn consistent for the last wee while. You know, it was a bit spiky, kind of, you know, two steps forward, one step back for a while, but the last few months, although it's not been brilliant, it has been very consistent, which is is great because it means it's something that I can kind of rely on. Uh, never taking anything for granted. I mean, you could have a week with nothing. I could do something wrong in eBay and get a suspension. I mean, there's any number of things that could happen. I might not be able to find any stock for a fortnight. I could break my leg, you know. All of that aside, uh, I can look at that kind of, the average over quite a long period and what my earnings or what the business earnings are from that and kind of rely on that income for getting more stock, getting my shelving sorted out, occasionally paying the rent, uh, things like things like that. So that's good. And now that I know that is consistent, next time I get a wee influx of cash, which might win a lottery, you never know, uh, I'm fairly confident that it would be worth my while going out and kind of doubling down on what I'm already doing. And I would see a significant increase in sales just from doing that. So that's, that's what the head is with the business. But those consistent sales, what are they? Let's let's just show you, shall we? Um, first up, we've got five Christopher Brookmeyer books. So nice to be hardcover at the bottom, and then four paperbacks. Christopher Brookmeyer, Glasgow author, love them. I've, well, I don't know if that's really true anymore. Uh, back in the old days, when he was Christopher Brookmeyer and wrote that type of book, brilliant, loved it. Um, since he became Chris Brookmeyer and started writing that type of book, I tried reading one Black Widow and it was just another, just another thriller. It didn't do anything particularly for me. So yeah, original Christopher Brookmeyer, classics, the new ones, just another, not just another, I'm sure he's very good, but just another kind of Mark Billingham, Pierre James, whatever you want to call them. Anyway, thirteen ninety nine for the five of those. And then, sold one of these the other day, picked another one up, and sold another one. Kimberly Chambers, The Brothers, Diamond Edition. Uh, hardcover, first edition, £9.90. So that's a popular book at the moment. These things don't last. So, you know, if you've noticed something that's doing well, get a couple of copies going, but expect the price to drop back down to a three quid book at some point. Um, keep an eye on them, you know, which can be difficult to do if you've got thousands and thousands of books. Anyway, next for 9 99 three Lucinda Rileys. And a stack of DVDs. Still, I've got 
still got hundreds of DVDs, I mean literally hundreds of DVDs to get listed and add into my listings. And it's just becoming that kind of size of pile where it's like, oh, where do I start? But I really need to get in and do them because when I list them, they sell. Um, so there's 10 DVDs. So it's buy five, get five free, uh, which means those 10 went for £16.49. So somebody's getting them for like 165 a DVD, which is a, a good price for most of these. I do try and just pick out stuff that's a little bit different, uh, kind of the classics, you know, like Home Alone. Night Fever, Night Fever. The original Jumanji. Bit of a Back to the Future. Bronson. Original Roadhouse. Witches of Eastwick. Shaun of the Dead. Taxi Driver. As good as it gets. You get the idea. It's that type of thing that I do. Uh, make sure I've picked up my, oh yes it was the Back to the Future trilogy and that is the one I've picked up so yeah Back to the Future trilogy not just Back to the Future so 1649 cost me a quid to pick up 10 of them I, I get them for free as well but if I paid for them I paid a pound and then they sell for £16.49 so they're well worth grabbing and listing and I'm really lazy with the DVDs I shouldn't be I really shouldn't be I need to make more of an effort anyway it's always nice when they sell. Then we've got some John Grisham. One, two, three. Four, five. Five John Grisham. All paperbacks. You know we like them. Heading to Mark, repeat buyer. I don't know if you're a viewer or not, Mark, but there's your books. They'll be with you soon enough. Twelve ninety nine for five John Grishams. Right, an author that I have not sold in months. Uh, I, I don't even pick them up anymore when I see them, although I do see them quite often. So usually I get one sale and it's like, oh, I should pick them up again. Uh, for £15.99, we've got five Craig Thomas BCA hardcovers. So they're all the same size, all the same format. Uh, Craig Thomas, Firefox down. Here's that. Or Firefox as well, I suppose. There was two of them, wasn't there? But fifteen ninety nine for those. Obviously, it's more than a two kilo bundle for that one. So fifteen ninety nine allows for that wee bit extra in postage that it's going to cost me. Right, that was Craig Thomas. Right, some more Horace Heresy. Not one, but two. It's like a magic trick, that isn't it? So Fulgrim and Flight of the Eisen. Yeah, the two of them and the two of them sold for £27.84. pence. I was in an Oxfam shop earlier on, so went to do a job. A house clean. I, I, I do have a cleaning business that I very occasionally do some cleaning for. Um, today's was a wee two bed house. It's about to get rented out. They'd had various work done, so it was just in kind of a kind of a builder's clean, top to bottom, white dust hoover inside and outside all the cupboards and everything. So it, it takes a few hours, but it's a nice bit of money for it, whatever it was. But there's four charity shops like right next to it, uh, so I popped in, and they were extortionate, extortionate. I knew they would be. I've been there before. I knew they were going to be expensive, but as I was there, it's kind of like. 20 miles away in a direction I don't usually travel. I thought, let's just pop in, have a wee nosy. Uh, I did pick up a few books, but they were all like a pound each. One of them I paid eight quid for, just because I thought it might go for 20. Might. So, you know, I'd make a fiver on it. Um, I wish I hadn't bothered, but, you know, I did it. It was a signed book. But they had one of the shops, I think it was an Oxfam shop, so Oxfam books are always way up there. They had three Warcraft books, just paperback, World of Warcraft books, and they were priced at £35 each. It's ridiculous, ridiculous. I mean, it's the top price. I, I looked up one of them, and 35 quid. one sold for that like six months ago on eBay. So they've put them on at the top eBay price, or maybe it's Amazon prices they're looking at, I don't know. 
uh, and that's what they've got on their shelves for them there so yeah good luck with that somebody will buy them it's one of these stupid areas where it's, it's all pokey bee hooses right it's not the richest area in the world i grew up just up the road from it so i'm not dissing the place i'm not going to see where it is but it's kind of what is it my mother used to describe it as all for coat and knee knickers right so everything has to look great and fantastic there's, there's got to be a new car it's got to be all the new clothes it's got to be all the designer gear but they're eating chips and gravy for their dinner because there's nothing left it's one of those places so that type of book just because it's 35 pounds somebody in that area will buy it just because it's 35 pounds for a paperback book it's 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 ridiculous but we all know places like that uh, as i say off our coat knee knickers what have we got next we've got mr mark billingham i mentioned him a moment ago didn't i again i used to read mark billingham the first few books really enjoyed and then they all just get a bit the same the same the same um i was reading a lot of stuff like this uh michael connolly jeffrey deaver christopher brookmeyer all of these and then i went and read george martin so some of the game of thrones books or the song of ice and fire books then i read fever dream which was so good that's probably my favorite book of his despite Song of Ice and Fire being exquisite. And then I went back to something like this. It was just flat. Flat and formulaic. And I've never managed to get back to them. But that does not take away from if this is your thing, Mark Billingham is brilliant at what he does. And for twelve ninety nine somebody's getting five of those to check out. Right. Another author now this another thriller writer who i have never read but i sell all the time um i used to live upstairs from a woman and i think her daughter she worked with val or had some relationship with val i'm not entirely sure but uh yeah five val mcdermott paperbacks 12 pounds 99 that's a couple of scottish authors today right a pre-made bundle, a bundle I made up ages ago. I keep looking at it and thinking, oh God, I need to split that up and just get them listed separately because it's not going anywhere. And then it's sold. Oh, let's do it that way so you can see what they are. $14.99. So we've got an Eva Ibbotson, a Veronica Roth, names you all know. Then we've got Kirsten White Slayer. So it's like a, a Buffy universe book Psychology of Time Travel by Kate Mascarenas and Kim Newman The Secrets of Deercrift Grange School uh, there's Kim Newman who used to do reviews in horror magazines and I know he did write a couple of books is that the same Kim Newman it's unusual to have Two authors with the same name. Follow him on Twitter. Yeah, it's him. Aye. Uh, yeah, Kim Newman, horror dude. Uh, Fourteen ninety nine for the five of them. So I'm glad I didn't split them up. So that's a nice little seal. Right. Stop getting distracted. Ian, focus, man, focus. Ooh, oh, they're down here. Dick Francis, vintage Dick Francis does sell, doesn't sell fast doesn't sell often but it does sell so we've got five wee Dick Francis paperbacks for £12.99 £12.99 kind of the magic number Eleanor Griffiths known to our friends as EJ EG, Ellie Griffith whatever you want to say Ghost Fields, Dying Fall, and The Crossing Place. Three of them, £9.99. Okay. Oh, another triplicate. This time it is three Dickie Osmond, uh, Thursday Murder Club, books one, two, and three. I have got book four in paperback as well, but 
they just bought the three of them so that one's left on its own but again 9.99 for three paperbacks and finally I think this is the last one yes this is the last one another bundle of Lucinda Riley this time we've got Seven Sisters Lucun Sister and the Butterfly Room the three of them again three paperbacks so that's $9.99 and that's that's today's sales so far hopefully there'll be a few more this evening but I'll be keeping them until tomorrow what I need to do now is get this lot packed up and go back out and drop them off at Royal Mail which I really can't be bothered with because it's started raining since I came in it's just turned into one of those miserable days where once you're in you just want to stay in I've still got a lot of listing to do so I need to come back and do that as well but I'm going to get this lot packed up uh, nick off drop them all off so that they're in the system and on their way before the end of the day and then I'll come back and I'm going to ask a cup of coffee do some listing and maybe at some point I'll even have some dinner who knows one of those crazy days anyway thank you all for watching as ever and uh, no doubt hopefully I'll see you tomorrow <laughs>